Okay, so I have a few words uh, to say. The first, uh, this is a little bit of an inside joke, but Nevin, congratulations, and I truly hope to be who you are when I grow up. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, Nevin. <laughs> Probably good. Yeah. So anyway, um, Nevin and I have had a, a long-running joke, and Nevin shares that with me, uh, telling me that he wants to be who I am when he grows up. And I'm uh, incredibly humbled by that because Nevin is one of those people that, when I started in dentistry you know, back in the early 1980s, I truly looked up to. Um, there were several other people that, that shared with me their love for dentistry, uh, Jim Harding, uh, Sid McKnight, Dean Dyer, uh, Gary Zuck, were all in the same building that I was in for the first seven years of my practice. And uh, one thing they always told me is that you need to get involved in organized dentistry and, and give back to your profession because it's going to give so much to you. And they were so absolutely true. Thank you for trusting me to be the president of uh, your professional organization. It's an honor, and I'm very deeply humbled. Um, I won't take lightly the responsibility that you've entrusted in me. Um, when I was asked by Craig Harry a few years ago to consider running for a KDA office, I was a bit surprised that I was even considered. I enjoy being a worker uh, and helping others achieve great things, but being a leader is something for other people to do. And that is where the conflict lies. Many of us are very content to let others take charge and make the plans. However, all of us are, in fact, leaders. We are the leaders in our practices every day we go to work. Our patients look to us to lead them to better oral health. Our team members look to us to help them be better health care providers and to serve the patients that we care for. Our communities look to us as educated, knowledgeable people who can guide our cities, towns, churches, and neighborhoods forward in tumultuous times. And our families look to us to lead them through daily activities, vacations, and possibly difficult situations. I tell you all of this because I think that sometimes we forget that we are all leaders and we're all capable of leading. There's a lot of conversation in professional dentistry about our, where, where our membership numbers are heading. There are many reasons for the apparently declining numbers, and I don't want to spend time talking about those reasons because we've spent a lot of time talking about them in other places. I would, however, like to spend a moment talking about where we might go from here. I was a Boy Scout as a young man, and one of the most important lessons I learned in scouting was to always leave the trail in your campsite in better shape than that in which you found it. Additionally, I was taught to always give back to scouting more than it gave to you. I try very hard to do that in my everyday life. I know that many of you do this also. It takes on many forms. Something I hear on a pretty frequent basis from those who are not members and from some members of the ADA and the KDA is a question of what will I get from the KDA or from the ADA. Without listing all the tangible benefits or even the intangible benefits for all of dentistry, I think we all know that the benefits list is rather lengthy and certainly hard to put definite value on. Instead of reviewing what the organization can do for the individual, I think we should all look at what we might be able to do for the organization. Think about your abilities. Think about your knowledge of dentistry. Think about what you love about your profession. Then consider what you might do to make your KDA and your ADA better. It may be visiting with a legislator in your hometown. It may be promoting the benefits of excellent oral health care in your community newspaper or maybe a web blog. It may be providing free dental care at a KMOM or at an assisted living facility or screening in an elementary or preschool. The list can go on and on. Many of us do these things already. Some of us are capable of doing more. I challenge each one of you to look at what you can do to make the KDA an organization that is better than what it already is. We have one of the best professional organizations in the country. We have one of the best executive directors in the country. And we have one of the best teams of support personnel in the KDA offices in the entire country. When talking to prospective members and new dentists, share with them what we know, that we are only good as all of the parts. All of us can contribute, and we need your contributions. I will give you my best, and I hope that I can live up to the examples that have preceded me. Steve, Cindy, Jason, Craig, thank you for showing me the way. I intend to follow your footsteps. To all of you, whether you're a committee, 
or a council member or a chair, whether you're a visible member of the KDA or a very quiet member, thank you for trusting me with your organization for the next year.